Often when we think about flagship devices, we think about those that come from the big name brands like Samsung. But there are lots of other companies that also make flagship devices. For example, today we're going to take the Meizu 16S, which has got the Snapdragon 855, and compare it with the Samsung Galaxy S10 also with the Snapdragon 855. So if you're ready, let's go. On the left-hand side, we have the Galaxy S10 Plus with the Snapdragon 855. On the right-hand side, we have the Meizu 16S, also with the Snapdragon 855, and an early lead there by the S10. Yes, it's clearly already into the 2048 test, building up maybe a one-second lead there ahead of the Meizu 16S. Let's see what happens as we get our way into the next test, which, of course, is the Bloom test. And after this, we know is the SQL Lite test, and, and the Galaxy S10 has done so well so often in the SQL Lite test. Let's see what happens when both of these... There we go. SQL Lite, absolutely amazing. Oh, look at the Meizu, look at that, look at that. Oh, that looks so slow compared to the S10 Plus. That's certainly going to affect the end times. Let's see what happens when we get to that Unity 3D test. Is that going to be the thing? We're into the 2D gaming test now on the left-hand side with the Galaxy S10 Plus. The Meizu is still into, or as I was saying, that it switched its way into the 2D gaming test. The uh, S10 Plus is into the 16th thread test. After the 16th thread test comes the Unity test. And also there, the Meizu is now into the 16th thread test. And it's worth mentioning that both of these have got the Snapdragon 850 and both of these are running in full HD plus so they should be pretty equal when it comes to the amount of pixels they've got to push but clearly the S10 plus is in the lead here it went into that test earlier and it seems to be sailing its way through that now up to the statue down to the ravine turning right then it will go up towards the sun and actually look at the Meizu does that seem to be catching a bit it certainly does it's also through the ravine going up now to the sun and it's coming down to the castle scene they're both coming down to the castle scene well there we go but the S10 has completed it first it's now into the compression test six seven eight and now also the Meizu is into the compression test there you have it one minute and 32.7 seconds for the s10 plus and the final time for the Meizu 16s was one minute and 35.7 seconds okay let's break down those scores so if we look at the total times we can see that the s10 plus was three seconds ahead of of the Meizu 16S. And when you break that down, we can see a big difference there in the CPU time, 22.8 seconds for the S10 Plus compared to 27.5 seconds for the Meizu. And certainly the SQL Lite has had a lot to do with that. When you get into the mixed results of CPU and GPU, we can see 38.2 compared to 39.6. But then another big difference when we come into the GPU, actually the Meizu was faster with 28.6 seconds, whereas the S10 Plus took 31. .6. 7 second. However, when you add all that up, it actually meant that the S10 Plus was 3 seconds faster. So there you have it. My name is Gary Sims. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and well, uh, that's it. I'll see you in the next one.